Uh, now we've established that if we have the object a few focal distances away, that the image will be located fairly close to the focal point. But now let's watch what happens as we take the object, move it closer to the focal point, and we'll see the image move further back. To establish that object distance relationship, one more time, we'll turn the intensity up here so that uh, the other camera now can see this uh, image on the screen. And now I'm going to replace the object with another source for better lighting, and we're going to move the object up, and we're going to watch the image move further back. So now we've uh, interchanged light sources. We have another light globe here, and you can see the, the filament of this uh, light globe, and we have it encased uh, so that it'll shield the light from uh, shining on the screen when we uh, properly position it. I'm going to uh, face that toward the mirror, and we're going to let the light uh, from this object shine toward the mirror onto the screen. At this point, I'll turn the intensity up so we can see that image on the screen now. And uh, we see that we have that image uh, located at about that distance on the screen. And now watch what happens when we take the object and move it closer to the mirror. We're going to see the image move further back. So as we move the object up closer, the image moves further back. There's a point where object and image are about the same distance, and it turns out that they're about the same size. Notice the image is still inverted and real. Now as the object gets closer to the focal point, the image moves back even further. Now to see just how far back we can move that image, I'm going to move the object up to where it's just barely beyond the focal point, and we're going to form that uh, image clear over onto the wall. So to do that, I will uh, turn the intensity up. So when I turn the intensity up now, I'm going to bring the object up just a little bit closer to the focal point, and we now see the image formed over on the wall. To see that a little better, I'm going to turn the lights down for better contrast. And we see this now works like a projection system where we have the object just barely beyond the focal point of the mirror, and the image is formed on the wall. Notice that the image is very much enlarged, further away from the mirror than is the object distance. The image is still inverted and real. 